Tonight we have Nashville in the building and on the line to discuss some of the history on gangbanging in the city of Nashville. I have Jay. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Do you know if movies like Colors or Boys in the Hood? I know this is a little bit earlier. You know, we're talking 88. 90, 91, 92. Do you, did you know if they had any um, influence on uh, anything out there? I say boys in the hood more so than colors. A lot of these niggas down here don't watch they ain't, they ain't never even watch colors. They, you know, a lot of these, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the Nashville influences more so come from uh, New York and LA. Like, the way they bang, like you know how New York they uh, mix. Chicago and LA shit together like they had a five punch star with blood shit. Uh-huh. You know they, that's the type of shit, yeah that's the type of shit they was doing here. So it's, they wasn't more so into the I don't know they just a little confused down here. People just now starting to get you know familiar with what, who they say they are. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas just was just floating around. So it's like it's something like like even the GDs and the uh, the vice lords and shit like that. I mean, they just never starting to figure out who they are. They just, it's just, you know, it, the shit down here is not as serious as a whole lot of people make it. It's not, yeah, it just, it just ain't. It haven't been for a while. It, it only happened for maybe about three years, three and a half years is when it was the serious, like the serious moments in that. But other than that, nah, man. Mm. It don't mean nothing. I've talked to a couple of cats that don't live in, in California where it originated, you know, but they are on the older side, you know, 35 and up, 40, 40, whatever. And they did say that when they were coming up, that there were people who would claim that they were from the land, L.A., and they were just given, for lack of better words, false knowledge. And they ran with that false knowledge for, for years until a real person was like, you guys are doing it like this? Nah, that's not how how we really do it. That that's kind of sounds like what you were talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, that dynamic. Yeah, that's how it is. A lot of and some of the, you know, he got some cats that don't want to be right. They've been doing it that way for so long that, like, you know what? I don't. They like they they kill you to try to keep it the way they got it. You know what I'm saying? That's how serious they don't. They just don't want to know. So a lot of younger cats like that, man. That's why a lot of them, you know, you catch a lot of these cats that claim they from, uh, you know from gangsters or they from neighborhood or whatever. Uh, and you see these cats walking around there and they get caught by these old heads and these old heads see them and sock them up right quick in the mouth. They looking crazy. They don't know what's going on, but not knowing that you run around with somebody you ain't supposed to be running around with. And they, they act like they don't know the shit, but how you gonna get put on? They don't want to follow your... You don't want to follow your, pro, you know, you don't want to follow your politics, man. Politics exists out here too. You know, that's that's serious out here. For me, it is. I don't know about these young niggas, but for me, it is. Uh, I don't. We don't. I don't hang with nobody that's not even now. I still don't do that. I keep my eyes on people. I don't. I don't feel it's necessary. I ain't gonna do nothing to you, but I'm just gonna not. I'm not gonna deal with you though. Know? I don't like it. Okay. Numbers wise, who would you say is the biggest gang in Nashville? I would say the uh the GDs. Okay. Yeah, they got the most. They gonna always in downtown, they they always got the most, uh, number wise. So many of them they're so easy, you know, easy to get in that. Really it's like easy. You can just walk on. So it's, it's fairly easy in most places to get on there. So yeah, it's so many of them. I mean, you can't. I mean, it's just a million though. Yeah, so they got numbers though. And a lot of them, you know, a lot of them, they, a lot of them is uh, they real right. You know, they don't talk to who they need to talk to and whatever, whatever. But some niggas have it. You know, it just depends on who you at. You know, it just depends. You know, the the Crips. The Crips are not that, I don't know, man. It's more blood than Crips here. 
Yeah, I would say, yeah, it's way more blood. So they got treetop blood and skyline. Uh, treetop is a pyro. They got yeah. treetop pyro, skyline pyro. They got bounty hunter blood. And we got that other blood shit. They, uh, what's that, uh, that valley, it's, it's a valley game. Uh, a coin a coin Damn, a coin Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some niggas claim that out here. And then some niggas claim, uh, Chris Harbaki. Which I don't, I think they pulled it out of their ass. Cause I don't, I, <laughs> that's recent. They just started saying that, like, last couple of years. I know they pulled that. I think they just been watching fucking, uh, Kale Mack or some shit. And, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Because I, I'm like, nah, I, I know for a fact that's not out here. As the time goes by and the earth rotates, we gon' fly high up to outer space. And we will never fall down. I'm one with the universe, call me the sound. The bass booming in your speaker with the microphone I possess, it's a heater. You better drop it, let go. You can't touch my beats or my flow. Nigga, Kevin Smith, my name, but not the director, we ain't the same, man. I'm a pimp by nature, inside of me is a god, the creator. Pursuing my dreams, cause anything is possible, you know what I mean. I wanna live comfortable, but gotta be clean. But working every day from nine to five in my thing. I feel like a trap. Can't get out of the bubble. I'm running out of time. Overload, I'm in trouble. I feel like I'm trapped. Can't get out of the bubble. I'm running out of time. Overload, I'm in trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. One by one, we start to subtract them. Separate facade from who really bought that action. Feel like I'm trapped in the room without a key. Full wall surrounding me, stripping my identity. Got me in the bubble to observe and deceive. Take away my culture and my nationality. Talking about double jeopardy and yeah. double standard to killing my folks. Like it don't even matter. And when we gather, disgusted by the charades, bullets spray the crowd, target practice in the game. No accountability, so who bears the blame? They want to see us violent and justify the change. Back to how it used to be. Obey or you get beat It's a different time You fuck with mine You feel as heat Not a threat It's a promise Real shit Got the music as a platform For awareness I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble 